Okay, so chapter 7, problem 28, 29, and 30 are all having you calculate uh, confidence intervals and they're giving you data. Um, I've shown you how to do it with um, given the mean, you just plug it into the formula. But now that we have data, we can actually use our calculator to do this very easily. Um, here's the number that they want a 95% confidence interval, and here's the data that they've given us 5.4, 1.1, .1, 0.31, 0.77, 0.66, and 0.9. So we turn on our calculator, and we need to go to Stat, and then Edit. Edit allows us to put the information into a list. So here we have 5.4, enter 1.1, 1 .1, enter 0.31, enter 0.77, enter 0.66, enter and 0.9, enter. So now we go back to stat and we go over to tests and we want to do a Z interval. Um, do we actually hold on? Has established a standard deviation. Uh, okay, so we don't have um, a standard deviation for, for the population, so we're not going to do a z interval. We're going to do a t interval, and we're going to use our data and it's in list one and the frequency is one Cal uh, confidence level is 95 percent calculate and we get our values here of negative point four eight 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 up to three point five three five five so here it says round to three decimal places so we have negative point four eight nine and positive three point five four. Oops. Five three six at three decimal places and enter. So that's the in confidence interval for mu. Now, is this, there anything about uh, the data suggesting the confidence interval might not be very good? Well, we do have this high 5.4 here, um, but, you know, that it's probably a um, an outlier, <laughs> so that's a possibility. Um, it doesn't appear to be normally distributed. Our um, our mean is 1.5. That's 1.5, so that works out. Uh, and our confidence interval does contain this. Um, the only thing I would say uh, is there anything about this? Yes. This makes no sense because if it's containing it, the thing that makes no sense is this outlier here. I'm going to check that. And there we go. There's our problem. All done. Now number 29. Similar instances, we have, we're going to be doing a 90, except we're going to be doing 99% confidence interval of our mean and we do not have a standard deviation again. So we just you know take our numbers, plug them into do into a T interval, which is on the test, gonna get our answers. Same thing here for our 95% uh, confidence intervals for our weights for men and women. We're gonna plug do men in you know list one, female women in list two, get our confidence intervals. So what we do, remember, we go to stat, edit. Here I'll do this one where we have uh, 96, 68, 56, 76, 64, 
64, 56, 88, 64, and 60. To do list 2, we just arrow over and we just type in the next 60, 68, <coughs> 72, 72, 88, 76, 84, 64, 60, and 124. So we have our pulse rates. Now we go back to stat and we're going to do tests and again because we don't have a standard deviation we'll use our T interval for data we have list 1 we're doing a 95% uh, confidence level so calculate here it is for males around to one decimal place so 59.6 and oops, 78.8. Good. Now do the same thing for women. Well, second stat test. Go down to T interval. Now instead of having list one, we need list two, which is right here above number two, alpha two. and go down and calculate and we get our values of 63.2 and 90.4 oops 63.2 Two, but I typed in 63.9 so let's try that again there <coughs> helps to type the right number in so now we are comparing the results can we conclude that the population means for males and females are different well we can look here and males is actually in between females so um, we can't conclude that the means are different. We would only be able to conclude that if the means were not included in both of these. So, no. Uh, are they different? So we can get rid of the two yeses. No. Because the two confident intervals overlap. There you go. So, well, actually it was the only no answer we had. <laughs> so, it's the answer is no because they overlap and the mean happens to be in the same mean, population mean could be in both of these. It could be anything from if it was between 63.2 and 78.8 they would be the same. So to change all we did was a T interval you just choose which thing you need list one, list two, put in your get your answers. So that's how you do it and that's how you change lists in a calculator.